नमस्ते माई नेम इज विवेकानंद वेलकम टू एपिसोड टू ऑफ ए सीरीज अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट इन कंट्रोल्ड एनवायरमेंट ऑफिशियली नोन एज प्रिंस टू आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज विद ए व्यू टू हेल्प एंटरप्रनर्स हु हैव लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ आइडियाज एंड वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट लॉट्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स एज आई मैंशन इन फर्स्ट एपिसोड द लास्ट एपिसोड लेट मी बिगिन with history in the previous episode i covered why how and what of prince 2 with this mind map i explained the principles that form the foundation of prince 2 i explained why prince 2 is important and useful for small businesses in this episode the focus is on business case which is the first principle you see on the mind map that was history and now it's time for a story let me take you to the world of star trek enterprise the next generation this is the episode entitled the battle captain john luke picard has asked the ship's doctor beverly crusher to visit him he complains that he has a nagging headache but the doctor says headaches were eradicated centuries ago dr crusher examines him and expresses concern because she is unable to diagnose why he has headache Captain John Luke Picard is annoyed. The Ferengi had invited Starfleet for a meeting, but on arrival at the coordinates, they were told, "Stand by," and then remained silent for over three days. Then, just as the doctor is about to order further diagnosis on the captain, the Ferengi want to talk. Damon Bach the Ferengi ship captain wants to meet Captain John Luke Picard in person but the ship's resident empath Diana Troy senses that the Ferengi is hiding something really significant and dangerous and warns the captain the captain decides to meet the Ferengi on the enterprise where the crew can ensure safety just as the ferengi are about to beam abroad the enterprise ensign wesley crusher comes running to the bridge and reports that another ship is headed towards them captain picard instructs him that in such urgent circumstances he should report it over the communication link from wherever he observed it rather than go running onto the bridge to report it the captain is reminding everyone that reporting anything unusual is important for the survival of enterprise and it is to be done immediately this is a very important concept in prince 2 as well the ferengi captain damon bock beams over to enterprise and surprises everyone by offering john luke picard the spaceship stargazer john luke used to captain stargazer but had to abandon it after an unfortunate incident everyone including the other ferengi are surprised as the ship is begin is being given free of cost ferengi are a race known for their single minded business mentality where nothing is given away free but starfleet is yet to understand the ferengi ways just as the ferengi demon bok is making his offer captain john luke experiences a sharp pain 
in his head. Dr. Crusher tries to diagnose the problem but he is unable to find anything. But having sensed something was wrong, Councillor Diana Troy is concerned and the crew now think that Captain John Luc Picard is not well. Later, Captain Picard tries to explain stargazer experience. He narrates that the stargazer was attacked by an unknown ship. He had designed a maneuver which enabled stargazer to survive, but the other ship was completely destroyed. This was a maneuver that came to be known as the Picard maneuver. But everyone notices that Captain is a bit out of sorts and is not very coherent when he explains why and how they had to abandon Stargazer. They feel that something is wrong but are unable to determine what is wrong. The Enterprise crew then bring back personal belongings from Captain's former ship. But there is something in that big box that nobody has noticed and Picard gets severe pain in his head. It is actually a mind control device. Damon Bach is using it to control Captain's mind. Damon Bach's son was killed in the ship that had attacked Stargazer while John Luke was captain in one of the first encounters between humans and Ferengi. Under the control of this device, John Luke beams over to Stargazer. The Ferengi then beams over and puts another device next to him and beams back to the, his ship. Under the influence of this device, John Luke starts reliving the days when he was attacked by the unknown ship and prepares to attack Enterprise. William Riker contacts the second in command of the Ferengi ship, shows him the device that was found in John Luke's belongings. The Ferengi states that it is an illegal mind control device and whoever is using the device should be punished. In the meanwhile, the young ensign Wesley Crusher has detected low level transmissions emanating from the Ferengi ship which match brain pattern anomaly Dr. Crusher had found in Captain John Luke's brain scans. William Riker comes to know from the Ferengi that Damon Bok has been removed from his command. The second in command of Ferengi ship had discovered that Damon Bok was using the illegal device and was involving the Ferengi ship in a non-profitable personal vengeance activity. William Riker then somehow manages to get through to John Luke and somehow manages to get him to fire on the mind control device. Even the Ferengi find that there is no profit in what Damon Bach was doing and so removed him from power. Moral of the story for me is when there is no justifiable business case one should discontinue project, whether you are a Ferengi or not. I hope the story I just narrated has answered the question why business case is important. I shall try to answer how to put a business case together and how it is used to guide the project and then show what a typical business case looks like. Every business case has two competing 
imperatives. First is maintain current business operations, which in most cases conflicts with the second aspect. Transform business operations to survive and compete in the future. Projects are the means by which we introduce change. At this point, let me give you the definition of a project as per Prince 2. Just to emphasize the point, I am reading what's already on this slide. A project is a temporary organization that is created for the purpose of delivering one or more business products according to an agreed business case. To put together a business case, you need the following. Reasons. You need to be clear about the reasons for the project. The reasons may be commercial, social, legal, etc. And you need to state the reasons very clearly. Then you need to clearly state the business options available to you. The options available to you may be things like adopt new technology, hire new people, outsource, collaborate, buy controlling stakes in another company, etc. etc. Next, you need to clearly state the benefits you expect from the project. This may be Increase in visitors to your website, increased market share, lower rejection by the customers, greater efficiency in manufacturing, better staff morale, and so on. You may have noticed that I am giving examples from wide-ranging fields from e-commerce, retail, manufacturing, to human resources because your small business may be in any of these fields. Prince 2 is still useful for you. You also need to clearly state the disbenefits that you would get as a result of the project. For example, if you implement a new IT system for your company, staff morale may get affected and this would be a disbenefit. As a matter of fact, any business case which portrays a project to have no disbenefits at all is hiding big problems and should not be trusted at all. The business case should state the time scales. If time scales are not stated, you would find that the project drags on forever. Costs have to be very clearly stated. If you don't, then you cannot budget for the project at all. Let us consider how the business case is used throughout the life of a project. Prince 2 methodology states that you need to have at least two stages for a project and the business case is to be validated at every stage. And if it becomes invalid, the project should be closed. At every stage, the project board needs to ensure that the project is achieving what is planned, the benefits the product provides are still valid, and the product is deliverable. The project board consists of three roles essentially. Executive, senior user and senior supplier and the project board controls the project. Executive is a role that represents the business interests for the project. This role chairs the project board and is in overall executive control of the project. Senior user is a role which would use the product and has the responsibility to make sure that the benefits 
stated in the business case are achievable viable and useful senior supplier represents the interests of the supplier who provides the products and the services for the project the senior supplier would make sure that the supplier's interests are met as stated in the business case and they can provide them at the agreed cost time scales etc there is another role which is very important and that is project manager role project manager is a role which has to take care of daily aspects of the project we now move on to what a typical business case looks like these are the headings that are recommended to be in a business case by prince 2 i have explained these in greater detail in a separate video those are the recommended sections in a business case and that brings me to the end of this topic of the day presentation i have covered history i also told you a story and now it's time to move on to the future in the next episode i would talk about project plan and i would follow the same structure thank you for watching this video hope you learned something in this episode